Hello, Year 3. I hope you're well and are having a good week so far. Um, just a little bit about these little maths videos now. Now, you're going to carry on getting a daily maths lesson, um, which Mrs. Hand and Mr. Day are putting in the pack, and then you're sending that work through to Miss Ashford. Now, in addition to that, we're going to do two a week where we're looking at maths recaps, so recapturing and looking at things we might, might have missed a little bit or forgotten about from Year 2 and from before, and maybe even from earlier in Year 3. And the purpose of that is just to see if there's any bits that we can help you with. And when you do those little assessments, so you did an assessment recently on your multiplying and Miss Ashford's having a look at those, that's going to inform us a little bit into what we put in these videos. I'm waiting to hear from Miss Ashford about the video, the sheet she sent in this week, so I'll have a look at those for next week's video. But for now, Tuesday and Friday, you'll get this extra video. Now, this extra video is just to go through things and get your brain whirring around, and you might answer your questions on your piece of paper. Now, if you do, great, but you don't need to send us the answers. These bits are just for a bit of practice. So that's why you also haven't got sheets for these. You can just do them on your own book, and you need to press pause when I ask you to pause, because then you can do them without seeing the answers. Okay, so you don't need to send these bits in. Okay, guys, so looking at this mass recap, then, if you do, if you do do it and want to send it in, I'd love to see it as well, though. So I, I, I know I know Maggie and Rebecca have been doing some brilliant work, um, so I'd really like to see it if you do, but you don't have to, okay? Right, so being successful today, we're looking at making equal parts. We'll identify the number in our whole that we're looking at. Once we've done that, we'll see how many equal parts we're being asked to identify, and then we'll clarify so we'll understand how many or how much is in equal each equal part okay so we're splitting things in each equal parts now this is the kind of teaching that is really useful so that when we get to year four five and six our heads don't explode when we hear the word fractions it's all to do with fractions but that's all to do with times tables which is all to do with division we, they're all linked together and when we're looking at fractions today we're looking at the whole and we're splitting it into equal parts and then you'll know that that's your denominator, your number of equal parts. So if you get this, you're going to be brilliant in year four, five, and six. And if you don't get it, don't worry, because we're going to do it again in year four, five, and six, and we're going to get better at it. All about fractions then, equal parts. Here we've got some apples. First job you've got to do, see if you can count how many there are. And then if we split them into two equal parts, so we cut the group into half, how much would it be in each part? And then if we rubbed away that line, and cut them into three equal parts, how much would be in each one? Pause the video while you have a go at that. I don't need to see that. Just work out. Pause it. So going through them, we can see there's six, then six, then six, and six times three is 18. Lovely job. So we've got 18 apples there. And when we divide 18 by two, so cutting that in half, we've got two equal parts. We'd have nine in each part. If we divided it into three, so putting a vertical line in two places, so after six and then after six again, we'd have six in each section, okay? So we could divide it into three like that. Okay, guys, now, sometimes it's not possible to divide either values of numbers or shapes into equal parts. Now, some of these shapes have not been successfully divided into equal parts. Some of them have, or one of them has. So which one has been divided successfully into equal parts? Is it A, the triangle? Is it B, the circle? Or is it C, the square? Pause your video while you think. Are they all the same, the parts that it's been split into? Well done, guys. I'm sure lots of you, but I'm particularly sure Chloe will have spotted that A is the only one that's correct there. She spotted that triangle has been split into two equal sized smaller triangles, but the circle and the square have not been split into equal sized shapes. Okay, guys, let's have a look now. Right. Some marbles here. I've been playing outside because it's not snowy anymore. It's all melted. I've been playing outside. I've got how many marbles in total? Well, I'll count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. I've got 24 marbles. Right, guys. How many groups have I split them in? Well, how many? Well, then they've been split into three equal parts, three equal groups, three equal groups. And my denominator, it might, I've split my whole into three equal parts. Okay, three equal parts. Now, let's see, 
are all these split into equal parts or not? Is my green rectangle split into two equal parts or not? Is my mauve square split into four equal parts or not? Is my purple triangle split into four equal parts or are they unequal parts? What do you think? A, is it equal or unequal? B, is it equal or unequal? And C, is it equal or unequal? Pause the video while you have a go at that, please. Maybe try and write down the word equal or unequal, just because then it's good spelling practice for the Q and the U element of those words, equal. Lots of you managed to do this. Well done. Okay, so the first one is equal. It's two triangles which are exactly the same, which we split our rectangle into. We have split our square into four equal squares. And then our triangle is in three triangles, but they're not the same size. They're not equal triangles. So we've not split the triangle into equal parts. It's unequal parts. Right, guys, we've got some fans here. That doesn't mean you're all cheering and going, yay, Mr. Spring, lovely tie. You're not fans like that. What you are is hot, so you've got your fans out. And you, 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 you're, you're waving your fans and making yourself feel better. Now, um, what I'd like you to do is split them into four equal groups. You might want to count them first, or you might just draw the number that are there and then split them. How, how many would be in each group? Have you spotted? You've counted them. There's four in the first line, four in the second. So there's 16. So in each equal group, you could split them either horizontally, vertically, or you could even cut them in up like our square was before, where you do a horizontal and a vertical line and you make them into four equal groups. Each one being four, four in each group. Well done for doing those. What I'd like you to do now is you're going to have a go at these sheets. Now, you don't have a copy of the sheet. I don't need you to print the sheet. Look at the questions and try and answer them on a piece of paper at home. I'll show you the answers in a minute. So pause the video, look at the questions and see how you get on. 7A and 7B are thinking about unequal or equal physical shapes. Have they been split equally or unequally? And practice writing equal and unequal. It's good practice for your spellings. And then you've got your number of cupcakes, and you might want to draw the cupcakes up, and your number of buttons. And by drawing those out, you might spot how many there are. And then for your cupcakes, you've got to divide them into three equal groups, and for your buttons, into two equal groups. Pause your video while you do that, please. Having a look then. Right, guys, 7A, it's unequal, unequal, and C is equal, because although it's been twisted 45 degrees, we've got now four equal triangles, which make up our whole square. Then we've got four 7B, I'll just move my face out of the way, guys, um, equal, equal, and sorry, equal, unequal, because our circle is split into unequal parts, and then our rectangle is split into four equal smaller rectangles. Our cupcakes are split into groups of five, and our buttons are split into groups of 12. Okay, so it all links together. Here then for our second set, pausing now while you read through, which shapes are equally split, equally divided, and how many groups are the flowers and the carrots split into? How many groups are they split into? The carrots one's really tricky because the lines aren't vertical and horizontal. One of them is a diagonal line. Okay, so it's a bit more confusing. Pause the video then while you try and solve whether they're unequal or equal and you write down which ones are, are unequal for A and are equal for B. Make sure you read that question carefully. So it's unequal for 9A and we've spotted that A, B and C, all of them are unequal. They're not the same. B and C for 9B are equal. So our circle split into four equal sections and our pentagon into two equal sections. The number of groups of, for our flowers is four. And finally, the number of groups our carrots are split into is four equal groups. Each group's got three in, but it's four equal groups. So that lucky bunny's got four sets of three carrots. So he'll have a lovely time. Good luck with the worksheet you're doing today. I will look at that worksheet when Miss Ashford sends them through to see if there's anything I need to follow up. Thank you for listening to these. The next one of these mass videos with me then is coming out on Friday. See you then for that year three. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.